uh, hey, this is how to play uh, the rhythm guitar for Pika Pika Beach. Um, so I'll go through it, through it normally and then go through it slowly. Uh, if you use your fingers with your right hand, you don't use a pick. Okay, so I'll play it and then go through it slowly. <clears throat> Cool, so that's the um, song and I'll go through it slowly. So the intro is um, <clears throat> second fret on the D string, open on the G and first fret on the B string. And you play the D string and the B string together, so like that. So you play that together and then play the open G. So you play the um, D string with your thumb and the um, B string with your middle finger and then the open G with your index finger with that finger. So, yep, so you go. That next chord is second on the A string, um, zero on the G, or open on the G, sorry, and third on the B. And you're playing the A string and the B string together, and then the open G with your index finger. So, so you're playing the A string with your thumb, the um, B string with your middle finger, like that. So it goes. So like that, yeah. So. Next chord is um, third fret on the A string, first fret on the B string, and open on the high E. So you're playing the A string and the high E string together, and then the B string with your middle finger. So you're playing um, the A string with your thumb, and the high E with your ring finger. And then the open G, or the open, sorry, the first fret on the B, you play with your middle finger. So, so. And that's um, the, um, so. That's third fret on the high E and first fret on the B. So.
Skitter. Like that. Then you go. That's zero on the A. And first fret on the B. And then open on the G. Like that. So the A string and the B string are together. Like that. And open on the G. Same with your, the thumb on the bass note, the thumb on the A. The middle finger on the B string and the open G with the index finger. So it goes like that. Then that chord. That's already that chord I taught you that. You should already know that chord. That's the second on the A, open G and third on the B. So. There is a C, third on the third on the A, high, open on the high E, play them together, and then the first on the B, open on the G, then first on the B again. So, so I do it from the start. Get it. that twice. This next is a G. So you're going third fret on the low E string with your thumb. So you're playing the third fret on the low E string and then with your right hand you're using your thumb. And then you're playing the open G. Then the third fret on the B. Third fret on the high E. So a finger picking pattern. Index with the G. Middle with the B ring finger with the high E, so like that, and then you do a G7, so that's um, third fret on the low E, third fret on the low E, with, and you play it with your thumb, and then open on the G, then open on the B, and then first fret on the high E, so. Then C, so you play, um, Well, you know what a C chord is, yeah. Third fret on the A string, second fret on the G, open fret, oh no, third fret on the A string, second fret on the D string, open on the G string, and first fret on the B string. And you're finger picking that. So the A string, the D string, the G string, the B string, like that with your fingers. So you're going. And that next bit is open on the D, and open on the G. So you play the D with your thumb and the open G with your index finger. And then you play second on the D string and open on the G string. So, like that. Then this F chord. So that's thumb on the first fret of the low E. You go over the top with your thumb. And then uh, third fret on the D string. And then zero fret on the G string, first fret on the B string, so. So. That's it there, so. Like that. So when you're doing that, you're playing the G string and the B string, and you're hammering on the second on the G string, and you've got the first on the B string there. Like that, get it? So. So. And then you play the G string, third fret on the D, then the open G again. So. Yeah. Like that, so it goes. Like that. 
This one is open on the low E and play with your thumb or with your right hand. So open E string. Then play the 4th fret of the G, 3rd fret of the B and open on the high E. Like that. E string, G string, B string, high E string. So. And then you go 4th fret on the low E string with your middle finger on your left hand. So. Like that. So do it again. chord and then you play the A string, the D string, the G string, the B string and keep that A minor chord but play a third fret on the low E on the bass off your pinky so you get it you're still keeping that A minor shape like that and that F chord again I've already taught you that and you do a C that's A string, D string, G string, B string with the right hand. And then you know the C chord. So that's a G chord. The third fret on the low E. And then open D, open G string, third fret on the B. Like that. So. You sort of roll it off there, finger picking that. Sort of like real close together. So. Like that. So. See how I finger pick it, like it's almost like a sweep. So, like that, yeah. So, that's that bit. This next bit is 12th fret on the D string, 10th fret on the G, 10th fret on the B, and 10th fret on the high E. And you bar the G, B, high E string with your um, index finger on the left hand. And you go. And you're finger picking it, the D string, the G string, the B string, the high E string. Now you use your thumb for the D string, your index for the G string, middle for the B, and index for the high E. Oh, ring, ring finger for the high E. So, you got that. Then, oh. That there is 12th on the D, G, B, and high E string, and you bar it. So, that there is 9th on the D string, 10th on the G, B, and high E. Like that, you finger pick it like that, so. Yeah, get the finger picking. So it's D, G, B, high, B, G, B. Let's get it. D, G, B, high, B, G, B. So. C major 7. Same finger picking pattern. Um, 8th fret on the low E. 9th fret on the D. 9th fret on the G. And 8th fret on the B. You're finger picking it like that, the E string, D string, G string, B string. See? And then the next chord. The 
there's an F major 7. So that's um, 8th fret on the A, 10th fret on the D, 9th fret on the G, and 10th fret on the B. And you're plucking the notes that you're holding down with your left hand. So it goes. So you go B, E. So. So you're playing the low E string, the D string, the G string, and the B string with this B chord. Then an E chord, you play the low, the open low E with your thumb. And then you play the G string, the B string, and the high E string with your um, index, middle, and ring finger. So. Then do a harmonic on the 12th fret on the high E and the B string. Yep. Then you could do an A. And you're playing the low E string, the D string, the G string, and the B string. Then a D, you're playing the A string, the D string, the G string, and the B string. G, that's the low E string, the D string, the G string, and the B string. C, that's the A string, the D string, the G string, and the B string. So it goes. Like that, then an F. And a B, it's a B bar chord, then the E again, and then you go, that's an E7, so you're playing the high E, the B string with 3rd fret on the B string, and 1st fret on the G string, like that, so E, B, G, E, G, oh, E, B, G, E, B, G, E, B, like that. Like that, and then you go A minor, and then the same A minor but with the third fret on the low E with your pinky. Then this E again, already taught you that bit. And this is the um, next bit, it goes D minor, and you play the D string, the G string, the B string, the high E. So, up. So you do a D minor, then a third fret on the A string on that C note. So that there is a bit second fret on the A string, open on the G string, third fret on the B, third fret on the high E. So it goes. So it goes. So I play the whole song again real slowly. Ready?
section. So that's that. 